Have you ever wondered while staring up at the big blue yonder on a beautiful cloud-free day... Ahem. <clears throat> thank you. Have you ever wondered, why is the sky blue? Throughout time, we've all had a go at explaining why. Here are some of my favourites. The sky reflects the sea. There is water above the heavens. We all live in a giant egg. Cracking. But, unfortunately, all bogus. It's really all down to a matter of physics. To answer this question, we have to travel all the way to the centre of our solar system. It would take nearly 29,000 million giraffes... Oh, hello. ..standing on each other's heads to get there. But we can travel the 150 million kilometres by warp speed. Whoosh! Oh, we're here. The sun. It's our friendly orb of hot plasma around which all the planets of our solar system orbit. The sun is the main source of energy for life on Earth. Without it, we would not be alive. It all makes me feel a bit dizzy, really. The sun emits radiant energy called electromagnetic radiation. The visible light and the colours we perceive are a form of this energy. Red, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Life on Earth is a dazzling, vibrant and colourful place. But visible light isn't the only type of electromagnetic radiation. Also on the spectrum are ultraviolet, infrared, X-rays, gamma rays, radio waves and microwaves. White light is a combination of all the colours of the visible spectrum. Isaac Newton Hello. first observed that white light from the sun, when shone through a prism, is separated into its component colours. Goodbye. When the white light enters the prism, the light waves are refracted. Because the colours have different wavelengths, they are refracted different amounts. This is called dispersion. When it comes to the sky, white light from the sun entering the Earth's atmosphere collides with molecules in the air. These molecules try to knock the light off course. This is called scattering. Like in the prism, the different wavelengths of the colours are affected by different amounts. Blue has the shortest wavelength and is scattered the most. Red has the longest and is scattered the least. When the sun is overhead, blue light is scattered in all directions, resulting in the indirect blue light of the sky. Ah, lovely. At sunset, the light passes through much more of the atmosphere before it reaches us. Most of the blue light has been scattered, which just leaves the red. So there you have it. It's down to a matter of physics.